Okay, so now what's left to do is to add the app icon into the application. As you can see uh, right now when we run it, uh, there is no app icon. And actually this would be a good time to point out that in iOS 7, they recommend that your app icon follows this sort of paradigm. And we'll get into that in another video about how to design your app icon. But because I originally built this app when iOS 7 hadn't come out yet, the app icon that you downloaded looks like this. I'm pretty sure that that doesn't follow that <laughs> iOS 7 app paradigm, but I'm going to add it to the application anyways. So for Xcode 5, what you do is by default, it's using the app icon in the asset catalog. So you just have to go to the asset catalog, make sure you select the app icon right here. And under the iPhone app iOS 7, you can right click and you can import an image for your app icon. So mine's on the desktop. And then drag it in there like that. So now when you run your application, you'll see the icon. You can run it, stop it, and then go take a look and you'll see your icon there. The shortcut key to hit for the home key is Command, Shift, and H. But there's a menu command for that in here as well. Yeah, so there it is. You can see that. Now, if you don't see your icon reflected, it might be that you need to just completely uninstall the app and then just run it and try it again. And your image, your icon should be reflected. Now in Xcode 4, because you guys don't have the image asset catalog, what you can do is go to the project settings and then you'll scroll down. It'll look a little different, but then you'll still see a section that says app icons and it's got a couple of empty squares or empty placeholders. And you just have to drag the icon into your Xcode project and then browse for it through the project settings here. And after you add it there, you run the project and you'll see the app icon. So let's do a recap of what we practiced in this application. So in this app, you used storyboards, you created a model, you wrote some code to randomize numbers, and you also created a custom view and added it into your main view. You've added an app icon, and also you've practiced declaring your own properties and methods by hand and not using the IB outlet method. I hope that was pretty easy to follow along and I appreciate you guys watching. Please share it with any of your friends or colleagues who are interested in iPhone development and help me spread the word. And as usual, the notes are in the description below as well as the link to the source code and the image assets. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.